I believe I was about 10 years old and I was in the back of my dad's Lincoln. Uh, dark blue. That car had a vibe to it. It was fly. Anyway, we in Richmond, California and we are in the midst of driving through a severe downpour. And while we're listening to the radio, KDIA, 1310, KDIA. Y'all know that? Y'all, if y'all from the Bay, y'all know on the AM dial, back in the day, AM was popping. 1310 KDIA, they're doing the news. And at the end of the news, when they're doing the sports, they say, we regret to inform you that featherweight champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez has just passed away in a car accident. I was shocked, just a little boy, nine or 10 years old. For the first time I heard someone that I knew of who was a boxer who had passed away. It's very sad. I'm more sad today than I was back then because I, I, I couldn't just, I couldn't grasp what the true meaning of death and the, the finality of death was back then. All I know is today, there's this glaring hole in boxing that should have been filled by the late great Salvador Sanchez. Before there was a Canelo, before there was a Barrera Morales and Marquez, before there was a Julio, there was a Salvador Sanchez. At the time of his death, he was 44 and one, 23 years old. Listen, at 23 years of age, he had accumulated 45 fights and was already a world champion. This guy was on his way to bust up those ranks. I believe he probably would have went at Arguello, maybe even Duran, maybe even a fantasy dream fight down the road with Sugar Ray Leonard had he not had his detached retina. And anyway, next Thursday, July the 6th, we once again pick up Floyd Mayweather versus the all-time greats. And it will be my pleasure to talk about Salvador Sanchez. <laughs>